Hey everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from bp for You, And today we're going to be talking about collections. And so I have this collections tab right here. And you can see that I have um, a couple things already listed under here and we're going to go over all of that. So if I come over here to this arrow and I drop this down, you can see that I've got these three options. I can create a collection, which is a standard collection. I can create a smart collection or I can create a collection set. So this right here, this is a collection set. You see I have this arrow over it and then when I hover over it I get that, um, that little pop-up thing there that says collection set smart collection. So these are um, pre, this came with my Lightroom catalog I should say. Um, they were pre-done and so I've got these um, I've got all of these different sets and so a smart collection will automatically go in and start adding pictures into collections based on filter criteria. And so um, here I'm looking at this filter criteria and so here I've got this um, one right here, this smart collection that is colored red and it's in this smart collection set. All of these are in this set. And so a set is just a group of collections. And so here I've got um, one that's the color red. And so if I click in there, I will view only the photos that have this red label. Here I'm looking at the only photo right there of a photo that has five stars. Um, I have 86 that I have imported into Lightroom in the past month, 72 that I've recently modified, no video files, and 548 files that do not have keywords. And so automatically like for example if I were to give this photo here a red label and you can see here that right now I have got four photos with red labels so I'm just going to come in here and I am going to give that a red label there Okay, now I've got five photos that have red labels. And so now that this photo has this red label, there are five now photos that are colored red. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's make our own smart collection. So we're gonna click on this smart collection. Um, we can make it a top level or we can decide to choose to make it inside of another collection set. And so we can match all or any of the following rules and we get to make these rules. Um, you saw with the pre-done collection set there was one that was collecting photos that were red and photos that had five stars and so on and so we get to make these rules. So here we can go by um, any one of these settings here. For example ISO, um, we can make that an ISO of 100 and then we can add a rule that says that it also has to be shot with a 35 millimeter. And so we can create that and I don't currently have any photos that match that criteria. Um, but that could be something. Let's find something that we can, let's create a smart collection that we can match some criteria for like a purple label and so here we have the label color and we're just going to make this one purple and I've got six photos now in this smart collection um, because all of these have that purple label and so um, here I can create my collection set and so I can go ahead here and I can create that. And so again, I have the smart collection. I can drop that into my collection set. And then I have the smart collection too. And again, I can drop that into my collection set as well. And so now I have those grouped in my collection set. And so now we have made smart collection, we have made a collection set. And so we also have this um, regular collection. 
And so we can choose whether we want to um, make this next to the collection set collection set or we can make this inside of the collection set so we're going to call this one oh let's call it email photos and we'll pretend these are just photos that we're wanting to email and so now i have this email photos here and so i can actually go ahead and right click and I can set this as my target collection and you can see we can only have one of these as a target collection. So I'm going to come back up here to my previous import. And so now if I am in here and I'm in my, um, my loop view and I go ahead and I hit B on my keyboard, it has now added this photo into my, my target collection which is my email photos. And so again, I can keep scrolling through here and I can add these photos to my smart collection or to my, my regular collection, my email collection photos by hitting the B on my keyboard and I can use this for when I am calling through my images in my um, beginning stages of my workflow. And so these collections are really nice. They can help to keep you organized. Um, they can help to keep you um, just moving along in your workflow. And so they're really just a really great tool that you can use here in your library module. Um, and they are definitely something important to know. And another thing to note is that all of these pictures that are in collections you can see that it has this um, circle up here in the upper right hand corner of your photos so if you see a photo and it has that circle um, you don't have to get worried about it because it is just in a collection that's what that circle means so thank you for watching this video tutorial happy editing